Alright. I'm on YouTube. It's alright, the bike's finally back. I spent all day yesterday breaking it in. I was going to do a video on it, but I kept getting cut off by cars. So, I can't use any of that footage. I don't trust cars anymore. I don't even trust them when I'm driving my van. Now, today's video is going to be going from here to a uh, later strip. I'm going to try and stick to country roads all the way there so that uh, people can see when they're going from Darwin people on 125cc learner bikes who want to go later strict they can't go um, all the way up into the lakes because obviously you're on 125 learner bikes this. We'll get into this right hand side lane and I'll shoot up past Sainsbury's. <laughs> but yeah, the 125 learner people can't go on the motorway so I'm going to show them a way of how to get from Darwin to the Lake District without using motorways. I've known about this way since um, 125 days. Because obviously, you ride a motorbike, and you ride the hell of it. Come on, people. City here then. I can't go anywhere else. I've got nowhere else I can go. If I get knocked off, fuck them. And this is why I don't trust guys. Grand Vitara could have gone forward a bit. So I could have got around the corner, but nope. Nope. Now I'm going to have to sit here all day. They'll go and then they won't let me through. It's freezing cold as well, it's not very nice. Ooh, there's a big gap behind that BMW. Come on, let's go. Yes, big gap. Come on, BMW, take corner faster, please. So if you go up, oop, big bump, if you go up this way, past uh, Dakar, if you're not from Darwin, you'll find out what Dakar is because it's a big school. If you go up this way and then where Vic Pub is, there's a turn in it goes right up speed up hill. I can't remember the actual name of the hill, there's not like one to refer to it as speed up hill. And bike installed, okay. Makes no sense.
I'm guessing buy it sold because it's only so there's an engine rebuilt unit there. So, still getting parts used to it. Hey, from Sweden uphill, if you want to go left, you can go left, but it takes you through all the 40 zones and you get a bit of nine, to be honest with you. So, what I normally do, bloody hell, that van stinks. Something stinks, something smells like absolute um, drugs. Well, we've got a Mexican standoff, all drivers, you can't drive. Yeah, I'm going this way because it's not falling up van these stunker drugs. Now, if we went left back there, it would take you through all the um, 40s on. It would take you into. Um, Top of St James's Church, that's at the top end of um, Lower Darwin, and then you go up to it's a it's a road, whatever it's called, a new road that's been put in, and then once you get around that way and up, you go straight through the lights, which I'll show you in a minute because I'm going to use this way to get to them lights. I'm not going up this road though, I'm going up this side road here because it's a bit more fun. This, uh, this way is pickup bank. like a little farm area. So you know it's definitely not a warm day. That little wave that people do. That's a thank you wave. I'm not going to wave at people like that. <laughs> Give them a proper wave. Like, just hold my hand out. I also give them a thumbs up. If you don't stop, I give them the other one. The, the, the middle finger. Cloud. Pay attention to all the surroundings. I'm wondering why my motorbike sounds like this, like why it's got a bit of a boom to it and a bit of a rumble. It sounds a bit more like a cruiser than a motorbike, than a Versus. It's good, it's a Versus, but it's my Versus and I've called it Old Frank. Old Frank likes to sing. It's a singing voice, a singing opera.
60 mile an hour road but I'm not going to go 60 because it's uh, very very twisty and very very dangerous to this bit as this way goes up to a giveaway sign but it's very narrow and very twisty Van Man went the road, so I'm gonna go careful of him. Right, oh, the woman, no mind her. Assuming genders, that's bad. 2023 people. We should acknowledge people as who they are. Isn't it? Right. I'll get told off for that. You didn't as you just assumed her gender! Well, sorry I didn't know that she was Apache with a war princess for the year 2097. Clouds everywhere today makes the area look nice that you can see for miles. Proper miles. going to do the full revs yet because there's no point I'm in traffic but yesterday we're going to make a video about um, going over to like Malum and stuff like that to break my engine in and I got cut off all the way there engine broke in but bit fine but Getting cut off all the way there wasn't great. Couldn't use any of the footage. So I had to delete. That's why I'm not now. In the cold. Wondering why there's a big cloud of smoke over that way. Is there a forest fire or something going on there? Dead ahead, because them clouds are pretty dark. Definitely a fire going on down there. To the left, down that way. But anyway, yeah, if you get onto Hazard and Roll on your 125s, people, anyone wondering how to get to the lakes, this is Hazard and Roll. I'll show you from these traffic lights in a minute. This is a junction 5 that we're coming up towards on this little roundabout up ahead. There's quite a lot of diesel on the road, so I'm going to have to go careful of that. For anyone like on a sports bike wanting to do this route, it's junction 5. So it's round about here, Junction 5. Someone's spilt diesel all over the road, which is dangerous. And you'll want the right hand side lane, so this lane. Am I going to get cut off? Wouldn't surprise me. Not after yesterday's antics. Then 
And when you get to these traffic lights, that give you the directional routes between like Low Darwin and Blackburn and Darwin and Hazlund and stuff like that, you want to turn right. Obviously get stuck behind cars a lot along this route though, that's the only problem. And this guy does not seem interested in going more than 10 mile an hour. There's a bit of a weird giveaway section down here. Then like it got us into a 40 zone and then a 50 zone. Because we're going to use this to get to the dual carriageway on the other side of um, Aslan. Some people wave to say thank you, the rest of them just don't care. I thought it was gas canisters, that's what I was looking at, I was thinking they're gas canisters and they realised it's an old car. Look like an old MG or something. Right, this one, Mark, you want to turn right? <clears throat> the reason why I want to turn right here is because it takes you into the 50 zone that's got the fun roads. And it takes you straight to the dual carriageway, this whistle. And the 125s are allowed on the dual carriageway on learning plates. sit behind you but I'm not doing 30 man I want thank you very much not an awful lot of wind today so then winter guys are pretty useless I know there's lots of wind blowing against me on but that's because I'm riding about 50 odd mile an hour trying to stay off the mud in the middle of the road measurements for road surface repair it looks like
obviously you want to stick to the speed limit around here as well because um, if you're on a 125 I think you might like probably be screaming its like, head off like <laughs> I'm not my key where I used to there's a key where super light 125 green one I don't know, I went from that to a 900cc like you do and I went from the 900cc to a 650cc because the 650 is more agile Yeah, so I didn't know this world, I forgot to say. I got distracted by like just thinking about stuff and tree filling. Alright. When you get on that 50 mile an hour road, as soon as you see the 40 mile an hour sign, there'll be a turn on the left with a pub next to it. Take it, it leads down to this road. And, uh, when you're going on this road, it's a bit bumpy, there's some speed ups at the bottom which is why it might be a bit iffy on a motorbike but it's like a sports bike or something like that if you're on a sports bike go careful and slow that's all I'm going to say is careful and slow because this is um, a bit bumpy this bit a bit rough obviously I'm a car like a versus so don't need to worry about it as much but it's still a bit rough and adventure boys and dirt bike boys just be laughing because they'll just like cruise over all of it and not even notice and when you get down to this bit turn right Right, we go okay. Turn right and then cross the roundabout. Show garage is to your left if you need any fuel. Don't think you will do if you're on the 125 though, because then things go for like 300 odd miles and just never stop. <laughs> but you're gonna go left around this big roundabout. That sun's really bright and it's shining straight into my eyes and I'm looking at the floor, it's reflecting on the floor into my eyes Now on a 125 you won't get up this dual carriageway as fast as I can because it's a hill I'm on a 650 
pretty sure it's a 40 zone in this area. Obviously I'll ride at the 125 speed limit for now. Now like this way you like when you want to do five, slowly going up the hill, but me But then the moment we get to that sixties on it's just gonna be gone like I don't know, because this car is immune for a shock though. And I wasn't even in the high I wasn't even in the lowest gear in like higher gear just then, so it does take a while to accelerate sometimes, but down here it's not the most exciting way down this way it's um, fairly straightforward you go know, straight down right but then from this point on you have a choice you can either go through the 59 just overtake him in and slow right down what's the point what is the point useless. What took me? Purpose of all taking me and then slammed up very slow right on. Bloody idiots. But anyway. Yeah, if you keep going down this road, you'll go to a big roundabout that leads to much more way or the green sign roads, like A roads and stuff. This guy is uh, pretty good for Yeah, the white plate on the back is um, plate, so I'm guessing something's going on there. 